How can women be equal in society if they don't control their own bodies? People across the U.S. have been organizing regular protests and demonstrations since the Supreme Court struck down Roe v. Wade, robbing people of the federally protected right to an abortion. The ruling permits the right-wing lawmakers that control several states to eviscerate abortion rights. These states have a combined population of hundreds of millions, many of whom are black, Latino, or other racially marginalized people. Many states have already enacted abortion bans of various degrees of severity, and many are likely to do so in the coming days and weeks. Fighting. The is 58 w million women are not going to have access to abortion in their home states in a few days or a little bit later. The trigger states and the ones that are close to being trigger states. And even women in states where it's, it's going to be legal, there's going to be an influx of people from other areas, and it's going to be very difficult and create huge anxiety and difficult economic, social, political, and emotional situations for, for people, uh, women and others who can get pregnant. not having abortion affected the entire class and the entire population, especially the working class, because women who had the means could always get abortions. The lack of abortion will do is that it's going to increase maternal mortality. Uh, the number of women who die within the eight, eight, eight month a year period uh, after giving birth and most particularly black maternal mortality. Uh, right now, black women die uh, at the rate of three times that of, of white women. Um, making um, women come to term, carry a pregnancy to term, giving birth is 14 times more dangerous than having uh, an early term abortion. And for black women who don't have a decent medical care, who are subjected to racism in the medical arena, and who are subjected to the wear and tear of racism everywhere, which creates a, an unhealthy situation, more are going to die at, at, uh, at greater rates. With the overturning of Roe, people in a dozen states have immediately lost the right to an abortion. This is due to trigger laws that 13 of the 50 states in the country have passed since the Roe decision. Trigger laws are legislations which are not immediately enforceable but can be enacted given the right change in circumstances. Now that Roe no longer applies, the trigger laws in 13 states can be triggered and take effect automatically or by quick state action. Some states have abortion bans that are a holdover from the pre-Roe era but were never taken off the books. These can also come into force again. Others like Oklahoma and Texas had already enacted highly controversial abortion bans in the past two years. In 2021, Texas banned abortions after six weeks before most people even know that they're pregnant. In 2022, Oklahoma essentially banned all abortions by prohibiting abortion after fertilization, potentially threatening contraceptive access as well. This patchwork of laws creates a deeply unequal distribution of abortion rights in the country. In the wealthiest states by poverty level, such as Vermont and Massachusetts, abortion will remain legal. In states with the highest poverty levels, such as Mississippi, Louisiana and West Virginia, abortion will be or is already outlawed. Many of the states with the most vicious anti-abortion laws also have the highest concentrations of racially oppressed people, such as former slaveholding states in the Deep South. But the people are fighting back. There is immense anger against the Democratic Party, which has failed to protect people's reproductive rights, despite being in the majority in the Congress and occupying the post of president and vice president. Biden made a statement, but it was of the mildest nature. 
he didn't say he was going to do anything. Uh, and he actually cautioned he didn't want to see any violence. He said, stay calm. But this is such a violent thing that's, that's uh, uh, being done to all people who can become pregnant. People will die from this. And, and the fact that, that you can't control your own body, what kind of a violence is that being perpetrated on you? But he put the onus of violence on those asserting their right and protesting it. Biden could suspend it. The lawyers are saying now that Biden could suspend that, but he hasn't Again, done it. my name is Kelsey and I'm with the party for socialism and liberation. Movements and legal organizations have highlighted several federal actions the government can take to ensure continued access to abortions. This includes using federal land to open abortion clinics, declaring a national public health emergency, taking steps to codify abortion rights into law, etc. Until now, the federal government has not moved to act on any of these steps. People are continuing to mobilize on the streets to express their outrage, even as they face repression and violence by security forces. Apart from mass demonstrations, people are organizing reproductive health funds and networks to provide abortion information and services to those in need. Health and civil organizations, particularly Planned Parenthood and ACLU, have filed lawsuits in multiple states against the abortion bans. In the states of Kentucky, Louisiana and Utah, judges have temporarily blocked the trigger bans and allowed abortions to resume. It's an issue of, of all reproductive rights. So I think we have to fight on every level together for abortion, for housing, for nutrition, for, for the, the, the right to, to all kinds of medical treatment. So I think we need to tie these together and not stop. Bring it all together and bring it up. So here we are fighting for abortion rights. We're fighting mass incarceration. We're fighting for the right to tell the history of slavery in the schools. We're fighting for LGBTQ rights again. And we're fighting endless war. And we have to fight capitalism and sweep it in the dustbin of history and replace it with socialism, a system for the people. We gotta fight back! 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 We gotta fight back